It's the time for whore. a package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the future is now. It has nothing to do with SK, by the way. But this is the multi-game card, the 168 in 1. So the Series 1, Volume 1. Well, it's quite interesting, quite confusing. This is not the first model they have released. But we're going to talk about it later on. So this is more like a mixed bag when it comes to these multi-game cards. And the reason why I'm saying mixed bag is the following reason. So when you take a close look at the cartridge of this, even when it's not made official by the company itself, the Chinese keep making unique things like a box that you're going to get included. You can also buy it without a box, but I think it's pretty cool if you're a collector and you just want to collect original games, but also you want to collect multi-game cards. So this game and this multi-game card can only be used with an MVS system. For the people who are familiar with the system from Neo Geo, I already knew it, of course. So I do like the cartridge, how it looks. I really prefer this translucent, uh, let's say green translucent cartridge where you can see the PCB inside. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and with the technology nowadays, they're still gigantic because yeah, there is nothing else to do. You just need to have the original form factor, but there are not a lot of chips on it anymore. So here we're having the sticker and I think it's pretty cool. But when you're looking at the cartridge, it's similar to the yellow version. And again, I really prefer this color over the yellow. But let's take a close look at the quality of the box. The quality is not the same like, let's say, the original cartridges or boxes back in the day. Okay, I already mentioned that this multi-game card is not the first released multi-game card. No, I think for the people who are familiar with multi-game cards here on the channel or out there, the 168 one has also been released with this yellow card. It's a card they have selling in form, I think, for ages now. But they have made this, let's say, an upgraded edition. So in this video, I want to cover this just to see what you were going to get and what did they improve. And for especially, did they improve the game list? Okay, so when you take a closer look at the back, you can see all of the games. And the first thing that, oh man, is really a bit of a bummer. This is more like the mixed bag when I'm talking about. There are quite some different games on it. So far, I know the games are more mixed and not alphabetic order. You can see some of the games are having a plus edition or a hacked version. So they say there were 168 one games, but that is not true. And a lot of games are basically double with a minor improvement or a tiny hack on it. All right, so let's take a close look at the box quality. So the first thing, if you're looking at the plastic on the outside, you can see this looks very nice and very smooth. And yeah, you can see that it is completely different, especially when we're having some lights over here. It shines, it reflects, and you can see it does not that great. So from the inside, what I do like about these casings, so let's say you have an AES system, you have some broken cases. What you can do is basically you can remove this plastic if you want to, or you can pull it out. I'm not going to do it with this video, but you can see you can remove it and you can basically replace these cases for the broken ones over there. So I think that is something that is pretty cool in my opinion. So for replacement, it can be something that is very interesting. The plastic quality, it would not be exactly the same, but what you can see is getting really close. So nothing to complain over here. So for a collectible item, I think it's pretty cool to have, unless a multi-game card, even if it's not official, it's cool to have it in your collection. But it's pretty naughty in my opinion. Why does it? You can see it doesn't align that good. Maybe you can move it around a little bit. Yeah, I'm just too picky about it. The size is almost the same. Hmm. Yeah, I like it, even if it's naughty. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do in this video, we're going to test it out. I'm having a single slot Neo Geo machine. You can also use it in a multi-slot. So far I know Retro Ralph did also made a video about it and he's using the yellow one. So that is something that's pretty cool. So it doesn't even matter if you're going to buy the first generation or the second. It's more up to you which one you want to have. But let's take a close look at it. The other thing I did notice with this cartridge, I don't know if it's exactly this version or it is just my slot. It, it removes very easily and it works very charm. I did notice with my previous model, when I try to put in the yellow cartridge, it fits very tight and it's very hard to remove. But okay, so let's boot it up and let's take a close look at the menu and how does it look and how does it work. Okay, so let's take a close look at the list. And what you can see already here is just one big freaking mess. No alphabetic order like on the box. We're having here SNK vs Capcom, plus we're having the RMX. We're having here another versions. So, 
what the hell, SNK versus Capcom Super Plus, and so on and so on. So when you're pressing up and down, we go to the next game with left and right, we can choose the next page. I'm going to scroll quickly through the list, and what you can see, all double games. Look at this, look at this list. King of Fighters 2002, look at many versions we're going to get. I wish they wouldn't do that, and I was hoping with version number two that they just remove all of the double stuff. Okay, if let's say if we're having a blood version with the plus edition, I can understand they're going to put two day games on it, but still, it's just filling up the list. But again, getting later on the list, we're going to see that there are not a lot of doubles anymore, but there are missing out games like Sen Goku 2. We're having one and three, but we don't have two. Kind of a bummer in my opinion. You can see that we're having here Puzzle Bubble 1 and 2. Going any further. So here you can see that here we don't have any doubles left. So that is quite interesting to see that they messed it up with the beginning of the list. You need to remember your numbers like with the Pandora's boxes. I think the best part is the last part of the Pandora's box to be honest. Or the Neo Geo. Wicked Brain Fart. So this is the list guys, 161 games, and oh my, they started again with a 97, it's just one big gigantic mess. And we're back with number one. So let's try some games, and are they even working on this multi-game card, because maybe that is also possible. Okay, so let's go to the cheat database. Mm, always jab, swing punches, infinite, uh, oh the play is so crap. Infinite power, yeah, infinite energy, yeah, let's go all the way cheap mode, okay. <laughs> Woo. Let's make it easy, baby. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be that this game is running just fine. Oh. The game seems to be running just fine. Okay, so let's try another game. These games are freaking addictive. But this game seems to be working fine. Oh, these games are so much fun to play with a joystick. Two hundred fifty kilometers per hour. Woo. On CPU crashing too. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Oh, this look. It reminds me of Micro Machines, by the way. Of course, I need to try my classic game. Oh, it's the same guy. Thank you. Hello, my little friend. I'm not forgetting you. You know what they say? Get to the chopper. Almost. Go shut up. Hehehehe <laughs>
Okay, so what do I think of this multi-game card? To be honest, I am a little bit disappointed. I'm thinking, how can you be disappointed? There are 1 on 61 games. No, there are a lot of double games on this cartridge and it's still the same story like the previous model. Maybe they did some tweaking and some improvements overall. But I was thinking, hey, why are you releasing a second version that still uh, has a lot of double games? So who is this for? I think if you are having a collection of Neo Geo, and you know, Neo Geo is a super expensive. And if you don't know, now you know. And this can be a fun way to preserve your original games and just have more like an alternative way to play. So if you want to play Metal Slug and you want to have more like an hack edition, yeah, that's really cool that you put it on it. But in the end, if you just want to play your original games on a multi-game card, have one, one of these collections, I think it would be better to have more like, let's say, what well, really 161 games and make more like a special multi-game card with hack games yeah let me know in the comments what do you think of this what do you think of the list i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit the little bell become the wicked family and i will see you in the next video